Hi everyone, in last week's episode I made this rubber band ball. Now I noticed in the comments that a lot of you guys suggested that after casting the blank I should try and pull the rubber bands out. Now if I did that, it would create all these little voids and then we'd be able to refill them with a different coloured resin. Now I think that's a brilliant idea, so this week I went and bought myself another bag of bands so we can give it a go. Now I'll be making this week's blank a little different, because unlike last week, we want the bands to come out. So I'll be adding some mould release to the bands, and I'm also going to attach them to the side of the cup. So hopefully once the blank comes out, it'll make it easier to cut them and pull them out. I'll be using a combination of wide bands and narrow bands. Well that was definitely harder than I thought it would be. Unfortunately the CA glue just didn't hold very well, so I switched out to some 5 minute epoxy. Now that wasn't perfect either, but it definitely did the job. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take my tweezers and move these rubber bands around a bit, just so they're not all facing the same way, and then once that's done we can mix up some resin. I nearly forgot to spray my mould release. Now I'm going to go pop it in the pressure pot to cure. That's looking pretty good. I can already see a bit of separation between the bands and the resin. So the next thing I need to do is pop this out of the cup and see if we can get the bands out. Now there is a thin layer of resin covering where I stuck the bands to the cup. So I'm just going to get my pick and see if we can pick that off.
Well, now that I've got all the bands exposed, it's time to try and pull them out. Well, that's unfortunate. I did try to keep a nice, slow, steady pull on it, but unfortunately, we've left a little bit inside. There we go. Got the whole band out of that one. I'm not looking forward to doing these smaller ones. I reckon they're gonna snap real easy. Another successful pull. Gotta be happy with that. see the other end moving so I'm gonna get my air compressor and we'll try and shoot some air in the other end that's it we lost it that's a bugger Well, I managed to get most of the bands out. Unfortunately, we left a bit of the orange, the purple, and the yellow. Now, the purple and the yellow are right in the middle. I've got no chance of getting them out, but this orange one is very close to the edge down here, so I think I might have a chance. If I drill a hole, I might be able to pick it out. Well, it doesn't look like the end of the orange is moving. And on closer look, it looks like the orange and the yellow have fused together. So I might not even be able to pull this out. Nah. Did get a fair bit more out though. It's actually what I wanted because I didn't want the bands to be close to the edge. Because when we turn this, I really don't want to expose any bands. So it looks like all three leftovers are in the middle, so that's going to be quite good. So now that I've got most of the rubber bands out, it's time to explain how I plan on putting resin in there. The first thing I need to do is put this blank into a larger cup. Then I'm going to mix up some coloured resin, pour it all over the top, and then I'm going to put the cup into the vacuum chamber. Now I'm going to create a vacuum which will pull all the air out of these voids. And when I release the vacuum, it's going to suck the coloured resin into them. And then once I've done that, we'll be able to put it in the pressure pot, let it cure, and then turn it on the lathe.
Now this is where the real excitement begins, because beneath this resin could be something really cool or really sh**. Now there's only one way to find out, and that's to pop it out of this cup, put it on the waste block and start peeling away these layers. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I've already stopped and had a sneak peek, and it's looking pretty good, but I wanna wait until the final reveal to show you guys. So I'm gonna take this now, give it a sand and a polish, and then we can take a look. Before we take a look, I just wanna say a massive thank you to all my subscribers for suggesting this. It turned out really great. And also, I know there's gonna be a few of you that'll want this, so I'm gonna put it in my store. I'll leave a link in the description. Now let's check it out. 